Hello everyone. Today's the day we're going to put the eggs in lockdown. So we've been hatching or incubating rather some American breast, American breast A chicken eggs. So these guys right here, we are going to put them in lockdown. So we got to take them out. We're going to candle them. We're going to see how many developed and we're going to start waiting for them to hatch. Okay, so I've just taken off the top. So now we need to take these out and we're gonna get our candler set up. We're gonna take them off the turners. They're really warm. So this is what the egg looks like. This one's heavy, so there's probably a chicken that one. We'll see. And we're gonna get started. Okay, so we're gonna try taking the eggs and looking to see. So you can see there's an embryo in here. You see how it's bright only at the bottom? So that means there's something in this egg. Let's check this one. Okay, there's something in that one too. Oh, that one's moving. All right. So far, so good. Oh, there's a baby in there. You can see him. Oh, that one's really full. There's a baby in this one too. This one looks like it's partially developed, so we're gonna put it in lockdown. Uh, anyway, even if, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything in this one. You can see how you can mostly see through it, so this one is no good. There's a baby in this one. I don't really know what this little spot is here. Can hear my other incubator. I've got some black copper morans incubating. You can hear the incubator turning. Okay, so this one is empty. So it looks like the light shining through the whole thing. So, so that was no good. We're gonna keep going here. Okay, so it looks like 24 of the eggs for sure had nothing in them. Out of the 20, excuse me, there were 28 eggs. Four had nothing in them. 24 looked like there was something developed. Now, some of them didn't look 100% full, but I would rather put that in lockdown and see if maybe it's just a small chick. If there's something in the egg, I don't like to discard it because it could be a small embryo, so I like to put it down just in case, but these are all the ones that had something in it, and only four, and I like to double check to make sure I'm not going to throw away the egg. Yeah, that one is got a little something that didn't go completely empty, as you can see. Completely empty. Completely empty. Okay, so four for sure did not develop. One, one kind of developed. There's a few in here that are questionable, so I'm not going to um, get rid of those. So now I have to take out the turner in this Oh, this is easy. Is that the, the turn? Is that the incubator? Is the, the turn plug unplugged? Yes, I have the turn unplugged. So we're gonna put that up here for now, and I'm gonna put these. So now we have to put these eggs just this? on the screen. Yep. Yeah. This looks like I don't know if this had a crack or something, but we're gonna. So we're putting the eggs back so that we can hatch them. So now we put them in here. We take the them cardboard. off the turners. This is the cardboard. The cardboard is for the Brincia incubator. This one Brincia. comes with the screen. Now some incubate those eggs and those small incubators. And the small incubator. Yes. Uh, we can get rid of that one. No, we can keep it. No, I don't want. So, I do want three incubators. I know we have three. Well, because one broke, we thought, and so we had to get this one. But it turns out it wasn't broken. It's was just not plugged in properly. So we're gonna put all of these eggs in here, and we have to raise the humidity. Uh, with this incubator, this one is Farm Innovators. You have to put the water in manually, but it's got an automatic turner and it's got a thermometer and a thermometer. So we got 24 potential hatchlings. Let me put this on the other table behind me. Two. <laughs> Are you helping? Yeah. Are you gonna be a chicken farmer? Yeah. Yeah. He's he's my little helper. Okay. So I just want you to see. What? A okay. So there we go. We put them in there, and now we're going to 
put this um, lid back on and get them ready to hatch. Okay. Now let's put this back. I Why you didn't unplug that one? This one is the fan. We have to keep it plugged in. It's kind of rolling. I don't know why these are rolling towards the center. Just try to spread these out. It's better to kind of have the eggs spread out a little bit. Because there's something in these, they're moving. Down here. Because the chicks are moving inside the eggs. So they're kind of moving the eggs around. part of hatching out eggs okay. is it's seeing them. Strong choice. All right. So now we got to move this over. Behind you. Behind you and look back. And we got to add some more water because we want the incubation humidity to be 60 to 65 percent. Put some water in both sides. Gotta also unplug the candler. So with this incubator, you need like a syringe or a turkey baster. I found a unused syringe that I happen to have. Put the water in on both sides. Yep. Excuse me, don't touch, baby. And that's it. So now we just wait for them to hatch.